Hello there, welcome into the channel Sage Centered Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here and I really do hope that you're doing well in this time. So we're going to be taking a look at some money messages for you for today. These will be general messages so all of the messages may not apply to all of you so do take the ones that do apply and the rest let them fly. I want to thank you for liking the video, for sharing it with those you love, and for subscribing to the channel. So welcome in new people, and thank you for being here. Hit the subscribe button, become a part of the family, enjoy the journey. Your overall energy, let's begin, right? <laughs> Breathe in here with me. Alright, so in this career reading, your overall energy is this emperor. It feels very powerful, like you're being governed or watched over, scrutinized. That's how it feels to me. It can be your very own energy, or this is the energy of someone who feels like they are governing over you, like they have power over you, they have to watch over you, so on and so forth. Or this is just your feeling of stability and power, feeling protection in um your in your conviction i don't know going forward our protection in whatever it is you're working on you know it can also be a bit of obstruction like if it is a person that is watching over you your employer for example they are really watching over you so you know, just being, you know, like, and, and this is, this can be you that's really protecting something. You're really watching over your work. You, you're, you're very sharp right now, paying attention to all of your employees to ensure that they're not stealing from you, whatever. Are they doing their work properly, on time, efficiently, effectively? Maybe you have to be in this mode of governing over your own or taking charge of whatever work situation you have going on whatever business you're running because i really feel like this person is really um paying attention to the details and like really watching over an employee or employers so um like i said this could be this could very well be an energy which you need to step into if that's not where you are you know um you know, sometimes you, 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 you are nice and uh, especially, you know, if you have people around you that are working with you, 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 you can be nice and, you know, welcoming. But then there are times when you have to put your foot down and defend your territory, emperor vibration. I feel like something is ending. I saw the death card. This emperor is, is doing some snooping around. Believe you me. And they're getting the law involved. Best believe that as well. And this, this law is sharp. It's going straight to the point. It's going to figure out what's going on because this emperor is suspicious of someone fishing around their empire. You know what I mean? And kind of taking from them, you know, something like that. And not really restoring or rejuvenating what was taken. This emperor feels that vibration. Look at his face. So at first I was saying this could be an energy that's coming, that's coming towards you at work. So... Because, you know, this emperor can feel like there's an obstruction to its flow. Yeah. It's the, this emperor pays attention to details in its workflow. And so it knows when something is off. And so right now it is on guard. Best believe that. This emperor is on guard and it's taking necessary actions to prevent anything going awry or whatever. The Wheel of Fortune is here. Hmm. I feel like that is for the emperor. That is news for the emperor. Behind it is the death in reverse. Something will be reversed. And I heard a curse. I don't know what that means. Maybe it just rhymes with reverse. But it won't, like a curse will be reversed. But something that is transpiring. It's as if um, it's going to wind itself back in together. Like someone has been pulling on this. You know the thing like when you pull string and it literally just winds itself back up. So it's almost like something is going to be wound back up. It's going all the way to the emperor. And it feels like at the end of, of what is wound up, like being wrapped up, but it does feel like spinning. Like because, the, you know who is at the head of this ship? This emperor. 
You know what I mean? And they didn't know that this feel safe or something that this emperor could hit. Maybe he had cameras or security systems or something like that. But with the Wheel of Fortune and the Death Energy, it feels like something being wound up and taking, like, taking it right back to the source of where it came from. You know what I mean? So it's almost like it, nothing was stolen. It, it was stolen, but it's been restored in that sense. You know what I mean? Because it's almost like the Emperor had some kind of a, a feel-safe set in place for those, if anyone would steal from him, he could get like get that trip wire or something and get back all that was stolen i don't know how it works and then this person at the end i feel is going to be facing justice or karma or justice may come for it so if you know yeah for some of you you feel you do feel like your employer is sort of overbearing or is just watching you eyeing you suspicious of you obstructing you maybe you want to follow your heart there are things that you want to do maybe you work in a coffee shop maybe you work in starbucks and you just came up with a brand new flavor like seamus chocolate mocha or something like that and you would like to share this um this new idea with your employer but he's not really listening he, you know, it's almost like you can't really get to fully live your heart to allow your water to flow in this environment. It's kind of stuck up. But I do feel like in this situation, I could be talking to a particular person. I do feel like your employer, <clears throat> they will come around this emperor. They will come around to hearing your idea at some point. I feel like that. Just take it easy. You know, secure your vision. Don't let it die. Keep it with you because I feel like there's going to come a time where he or she will want to hear your idea. It will be handy. <clears throat> like, I feel like this person is going to come around to you and say, Hey, um, what about that idea that you had that time? That's how I feel like they're going to approach you. 